Did you do today the work God gave you to do today? Did you? You say, well, Mr. Carroll, you see, I'm a businessman. That's right, you may be a businessman, but did you do today the work God gave you to do today? Two things certainly he requires of, of us every day, that by walking in fellowship with him, those who see us should see Christ in us. That's the first thing he gives you to do every day. And I want to tell you that if as a businessman you are merely grubbing around to make money, nobody's going to see much of Christ in you. That's impossible. That's impossible. You might say, well, Mr. Carroll, I'm just a housewife. What do you mean just a housewife? That's a very noble calling. Well, Mr. Carroll, I, I'm just a mother. A mother, is there any higher calling than a mother? I believe many mothers who have been faithful to their opportunity where God has placed them will receive greater rewards than many of the men whom we think are great leaders. The Lord Jesus requires of you every day and he requires of me every day that I walk in such fellowship with him that others seeing me see something of Christ in him. What else does he give you to do? That as the Spirit prompts you, you speak the word that the Spirit gives you to speak for the glory of the Lord Jesus. That's the work he has given you to do. Your business is incidental compared with that. Why? Because your business, like everything in this world, is going to go up in smoke, finally. Nothing left. I have finished the work which you gave me to do. This is the ultimate objective, and we must never lose sight of it. The glorifying of God. 